What's up guys, how you doing? I wanted to make a quick video on how you can create lower thirds for your interviews, videos, series or whatever. And I wanted to later focus more on the technical side. So um, I want to create a lower third. You can change in Premiere Pro. So you don't have to export a new lower third for every person you want to use the lower third for. This is done by creating a motion graphic in After Effects and you'll be able to change the name, the subtitle, the color, whatever. You can change basically everything and I want to show you how the basics work and how you can create one yourself. So first off, I'm here in After Effects. I've already imported a logo and let's create a new composition. Uh, 1920 by 1080. 25 uh, frames per second and let's make it 10 seconds long because that's how long our motion graphics gonna be later. So starting off with nothing here, let's create the base of our lower third. For that, I created a shape layer, put the logo on there, scaled it down a little bit. And I also put a text layer for the name and the text layer for the bottom. So first off, I want to set the anchor point of the shape towards this side so that if we scale it um, in the length, we only scale it in this direction and not in the area where we can't see anything anyway. So let's click that and drag and drop that here. Uh, you can also use, I have the animation composer, the anchor point mover. We just click here and it's automatically set to this point. So once we have that set, we open the shape layer and open the scale, unlink the two parameters. And now if we scale the length, you see it only scales in this direction. Let's say we want our shape layer to build itself up. So we set a keyframe here and set a keyframe here where this is zero. And uh, now if we play it, you see it drives open. Let's make that a little bit more organic by pressing F9 or Fn F9 on the Mac to easy ease the keyframes. And now if we play it, it comes out like this. So once it's somewhere here, I want the logo to pop up. So we select the logo and set a keyframe, drag that a little bit towards the right, then set this to zero. Then maybe we have it overshoot a little bit. So we set a keyframe for 14 and easy ease that. And now if we play it, oh, that's a little bit fast. We drag that out a bit like this. And now the logo pops up. And next we want our name to show up. We could animate it ourselves. Uh, you can also use the animation composer. Let's just say, let's, uh, let's use the opacity because then everyone can use it uh, and do it even without the animation composer plugin. But the plugin is free. You can download, uh, download it yourself. I can put the link in the description. Um, and for now, we're just going to use a simple opacity animation. So we go to the name. Uh, click T for transparency and once this is open, let's say we want to start here, click a keyframe, track that out a little bit and maybe set that to zero here, easy ease. And now if we play, the name shows up. Maybe even drag that a little bit down. So now the only thing left is the subtitles. Let's do the same thing here as well. Uh, opacity, drag that out a little bit, set it to zero. Easy ease. Maybe drag that a little bit after that so it shows up after the first one. And we have a simple lower thirds animation. So now that we had a fading in animation, I also quickly went ahead and did the same thing for the blending out. It's basically just the same things we did for the blending in animation, just in reverse. So 
first it blends in and at the end of a 10 seconds it blends out and now the important part we convert this into a motion graphic to do that we just click on the window and then motion or uh, it's called essential graphics in adobe click essential graphic and first we're gonna select our composition which is this one comp one and we're gonna give it a name mine is called nicholas level third uh, but you can call it whatever you want and now we start to drag in the parameters we want to be able to adjust starting of course with our name which we want to be able to change the text the font and the size so we open the text layer then open text and drag and drop source text in here you can already see here's the text and if we change that like add some m's you can see it also changes in the animation let's reverse that and we call that the name we can edit the properties and enable the custom font selection enable font size adjustment and the fold styles and now in premiere pro you will be able to change all these things we do the same thing for the subtitle just open that text and drag and drop the source text call it subtitles now the little bit more difficult part we want to be able to change the length of the uh, of the shape layer you can do that with an expression automatically and link that to the text but for now i thought of a simpler idea by just creating a null object we can align it with the shape layer and now we will be able to link the shape layer to the null object like this open the scale of the null object unlink the two parameters and drag and drop them in here and we can call this size of shape okay now if we change the size you see it scaled up and down if we would just drag and drop the scale from our shape layer we would get uh, well we would run into a problem because we keyframed that and if we change the scale here it would set a new keyframe so we just linked it to the null object and we're good to go you could also use an expression to link the size of the shape layer to the text but for now, I just wanted to keep it simple so everyone can do it. So we have now linked this one. And the only thing left to do is if we want to change the color of the shape layer. For that, we just open the shape layer again, go to contents, rectangle, fill. And here we have the color. Just drag and drop that in there call it color shape layer and we're good to go now we have all our parameters here we want to we want to be able to change and we can export the whole thing as motion graphic just click export motion graphic template save the project and save the motion graphic to the local templates folder click ok and you're good to go now we jump into Premiere Pro and I'm going to show you how you can use it. Here we are in Premiere Pro and you can find the essential graphics up here in essential graphics. If, you, if this window doesn't show, you can just go to window and uh, take it here. But in essential graphics, we search for the name. I called it Nicholas Lower Thirds, I think. So search for that. And here it is. Just drag and drop that in here. And if we play, you can see it's our lower third and it's animated. Uh, now, if we want to change the parameters, just click on the uh, on the lower third and you'll see here's our list of parameters and we're able to change them just by typing in another name. Let's say this one is too long, so it stands over the edge. We just use the size slider here to make that bigger. And here we go animation still works fine as well as the blending out animation 
And that's it. We can also change the color to whatever we want. And that's really simple, works every time. You just have to create one motion graphic or one essential graphic and your whole project is completely decked out with lower thirds. You don't need to create a new lower third for every person. It's easy, it's simple, and it just works. I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next one.